all right guys so welcome back to another mortal kombat 1 video and today we have some crazy news and some crazy leaks to talk about um the craziest leaks i've ever seen in uh, the history of my existence so make sure to smash that subscribe button if you want to enter my free v buck giveaway um if you guys want some free v bucks make sure to subscribe of course um the subscribe button would normally be here i probably should have went to a screen where it said subscribe but anyway that doesn't matter just make sure to subscribe for my v buck um giveaway and uh yeah with that said let's get right into the leaks so this crazy leak dropped on reddit today and uh from what i've heard this is actually from the final battle of uh, Liu kang versus shang sung so this this is absolutely just crazy bonkers we have Liu kang on the right as you guys can see he now has black hair when he's in his fire god form and then on the left we have the titan shang sung and uh, he looks menacing, he looks crazy. Back there, this is like a crazy easter egg that Ed Boon hid there. That is Evil Garrus. So Evil Garrus is real. That leak with uh, Gronica, uh, Coroni Garrus, whatever, might actually be real. That might be a factual statement leaked on Reddit for Mortal Kombat 1. This is absolutely insane leaks, guys. So just make sure you guys are subscribing to enter my V-Bug giveaway. And uh, these are crazy leaks, so... As you guys can see, Liu Kang is really beat up. It seems that he's losing this fight against uh, uh, Omni God Shang Tsung. And uh, I, I know I wasn't supposed to leak that. I'm sorry, Ed Boom, but this is Omni God Shang Tsung. And uh, it's, wow, it's just crazy. These leaks are so cool. But um, these leaks actually lead into something bigger um, than this. So if you guys look at Shang Tsung and Liu Kang, they have something in common, right? And that thing that they have in common is that they are both male and you guys know another male character shujinko so if you guys go into ed boon's tweets he leaked this all the way back in 2014 so september 9th 2014 ed boon leaked this image and this image might not be anything to the untrained eye but if you guys see here ed boon says what happened to shujinko in conquest mode that illustration could use more detail haha <laughs> silly ed boon see this is actually hinting to what shujinko will look like in Mortal Kombat 13. So sadly, Ed Boon did confirm to my uncle, because my uncle does work at NRS, that uh, Shujinko will not be in MK1. So that is very sad, but he will be in MK13 and he will look like this. The um, early name for Mortal Kombat 13 is Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Not to be confused with Mortal Kombat Annihilation the movie, but it's going to be Mortal Kombat Annihilation the game. So that is a crazy, insane leak. If you guys love these leaks, then make sure to uh, subscribe for my V-Bug giveaway. But um, anyway, so that is insane. Shujinko will be in MK13. And then we get to the next thing. So Shujinko also has this other thing in common with a character named Reiko. And that is that they both have black hair in their um, MK13 designs. Because Reiko is also confirmed for MK13 as well. Uh, my uncle did tell me that. So um, we have Reiko, right? And there is something about Reiko that is very important for the plot of MK1. And uh, here's some crazy, crazy leaks, crazy rumors, crazy things in this next part. So make sure you guys are subscribing to enter my V-Buck giveaway. So if we go here, Reiko was introduced in what game? He was introduced in MK4. And there's another character in MK4 that was very important. And that is Jarek. And you're probably wondering, what does Jarek have to do with anything? And that's true, you might be correct there when you're asking me, why does Jarek have to do with anything here? And that, that's completely okay. But as you guys can see his quote in Armageddon, soon I'll have my revenge. So this is very important and I'll tell you why. So MK Armageddon released on October 9th, 2006. And Mortal Kombat 1 is releasing on September 19th. So you guys can see that these dates do have some correlation with each other. So that does confirm, and I'm sorry to say this, but... That does confirm that Jarek is the main villain. So the main villain is Titan Reiko and Titan Jarek, and they actually do the fusion dance for those that have seen Naruto. And then that's what turns them into the final Shang Tsung right here, the Ultra Omni God Shang Tsung. I know that this is a lot to unpack, and I know you guys are probably overwhelmed, but uh, this is exactly what happens in MK1. And so it's very exciting, and uh, from what I've heard, right? from the leaks is that when Omni God Shang Tsung is taken out by um, Titan Cassie Cage, he actually unfuses and then Reiko 
is uh, still alive after that fight. And so Reiko will be in MK13, and the final battle will be Reiko versus Shujinko. Um, that's all in very early production though, so we're not exactly sure if that's going to be real or not um, when the game actually comes out. But uh, do keep that in mind, right? So this is absolutely insane news. I know you guys are probably really enjoying this, so if you guys are enjoying it, then make sure to subscribe to join my free V-Buck giveaway. And uh, yeah, that's crazy, man. From what I've heard though, uh, Shinnok is also going to be Jarek's little sister in this game. Shinnok basically, in the end of MK11 Aftermath, right, in Shang Tsung's tower ending, um, you can see little baby Shinnok there, and you can see that Jarek is the older brother taking care of little baby Shinnok um, in that uh, tower ending. So that is what was foreshadowed to lead into MK1. Um, this truly was Dominic's masterpiece, and uh, Dominic is just a, like a flawless writer, right? So I'm very excited to see what he does with baby Shinnok and uh, how that really ties into the greater narrative. My guess is that after Baby Shinna grows up to become like a very strong woman, she's going to become a titan and then she's going to actually kill the Dragon King. And then when um, Shujinko realizes that Shinnok killed the Dragon King and he doesn't get to in this timeline, um, he's not going to be very happy, right? And then so in MK14 is when Shujinko and Reiko are going to team up, and then they're going to become the um, Omni-God, where is it? The Omni-God Liu Kang. Because Liu Kang doesn't die in MK1, it's kind of like... It's kind of up to interpretation if he dies or not in MK1, but you guys will see when the game comes out on Thursday, right? So uh, these are some crazy leaks. I want to say shout out to friend of the show, Sparky Pirate Bro, for showing me this leak. So yeah, crazy leaks, crazy news all around. Make sure to subscribe to enter my free V-Book giveaway. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.